Hello everyone, from this lecture, let's start a complete course on principles of programming using C under the subject code 22POP13 or 22POP23. Module 1 of this course contains a brief introduction to programming language C. As we all know, computer is an electronic device which is used to perform various tasks. These tasks are also called as computations. The figure shows various components of a computer such as input device, CPU that is central processing unit, output device and memory. So what are input device? These are the devices which are used to take input from the user. For example, keyboard. Keyboard is a great example for input devices because whenever a user clicks on a key, the result will be displayed on the monitor. The second one is central processing unit, which is used to perform various tasks. These tasks can be of arithmetic operations, for example, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The third one is output device. These are the device which displays the result after performing a particular task. The result is based upon the input given. The fourth and the final part of the components of a computer is the memory. Memory is used to store the data. For example, saving a file. Saving a file is a prime example of how memory works on computer. Coming to the working of the components of a computer, the first step is the user input is generally called as data. Whatever the input is given by the user is, is referred as data. This data is first shared to the central processing unit. As we all know, central processing unit performs various tasks. Now from this task, the output is generated. Hence, in the final step, output is displayed on the monitor. For example, 2 plus 2 equals to 4. In this equation, 2 plus 2 is the input given by the user, whereas 4, which is displayed on the monitor, is called as output. The next topic is input and output devices. Definition of input devices says that it is an electronic device which takes input from the user and then displays the result on the output devices. Prime example for an input device is a normal keyboard. As already explained, any key pressed on the keyboard, then the corresponding action will be displayed on the monitor as an output, which means keyboard acts as an input device whereas monitor is an output device. The second example for an input device can be a joystick, which is mainly used in gaming industry, where we can move the joystick in all four directions to play the game. Pac-Man is the best example for the game which can be played using a joystick. In this case, joystick is an input device and monitor is the output device. Now let's discuss about output devices. The definition states that these are the electronic devices which is used to display the result but the results are purely based upon the given input. Example, monitor. Monitor is the primary output device for any computer. Monitor can be of two types. First one is cathode ray tube monitors and second one is flat panel display monitors. Another example for output devices can be a printer where the information is printed on the paper. Printers are of many types, but some of them are character printer, line printer and inkjet printer. In this lecture, we have discussed about brief introduction to computers, various components of a computer and what are input and output devices. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about introduction to C programming and basic structure of a C program.